Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the title, I am going to show you how to make pom-pom spiders and yarn ghost. Um, it's really easy, really simple. All you're going to need is cardboard, scissors, yarn, hot glue gun, and googly eyes. Before we get started, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Make sure you have your bell notifications turned on so you get notified every time I upload. As well, you can also follow my other YouTube channels as well as my social media, which is all linked in the description. And let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need some kind of a template or something to make circles and the size of your circle will depend on the size of your pom-pom and because I'm making spiders I'm just going to use this circle here don't want to make them too big I'll use this one so you're going to need two of these circles and I'll show you why this is so much easier this has come in real handy for me than trying to find the perfect bowl or the perfect cup <laughs> to make my circles. So let's just cut those out. Okay, so now you're going to make a circle on the inside of each circle that you just cut out. This thing is great guys. I will make sure to link below um, on Amazon so you can get one just like this. So now we want to cut that out. Okay so as you can see I cut the slit here and you'll see why when we're done. But we are just going to put this together. It doesn't have to be perfect so I'm using two pieces of string here. And we have our two pieces of cardboard that we're going to put together. And we're going to start by loosely. Now make sure you are holding on to these two pieces. And we're going to loosely wrap the string around. Find the way that best works for you. Okay, so I wrapped my yarn around twice and I'm just going to cut here then I'm going to cut some more string so we can secure it so what you're going to do is start going in between these two pieces here make sure you're holding tightly and just cut you can cut a little bit at a time or if you have better scissors, you can cut all the way through. So you definitely want to make sure you're holding on because you don't want to lose the threads. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the yarn. You don't want them coming apart. Okay, so now that we have them all cut okay so now what we're gonna do if you can see we're going to take our string and we're going to slip it in the center just put it through that's why we made two of these so as you can see I tied a little knot there so we're just going to take our pom-pom out of the donut 
and tie it again. So now you have these strings here. I just want to fan it out. Of course, it's a little messy right now, so you're going to want to, so you're going to, want to trim it. And you could do that freehand, or I can show you a little trick. Okay, so as you can see now, I have the pom-pom inside of a little donut here and we're just going to use this as a guide to trim our edges and I have the piece of paper down for easier cleanup and this is for Halloween so I don't want mine to look too perfect so there we have it perfect little pom-pom Okay, so we're going to make some more of these so we can make our garland. Okay guys, so here is our one little spider. I just gave him two legs just for this tutorial. You can obviously add more legs if you want, but I am going to be attaching this to garland. So um, I just kind of wanted it to only have two legs. And it looks more like a little monster, but I'll show you how I did that. I have here the pom-pom. And I also have two pieces of the fuzzy wire. So I just kind of put some hot glue around the tip of it, a generous amount, and just kind of stuck it in there like so. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And then once it's dry, I just bend the legs. You can bend yours more however you like it, whatever is best for you. Okay. And then just put your little googly eyes on. I decided to go with different color eyes just so they're all not looking the same. And because it's yarn, it sticks really well. So go ahead and do this to your other pom-pom and then we'll get into the ghosts. I said now we have another piece of cardboard and this time we're using white <clears throat> yarn to make our ghost. So you're just going to wrap around several times as thick as you want your ghost to be. You don't want to little slim ghost here you want it to look the part and I believe last year I showed you guys how to make uh, ghosts out of fabric and kind of uh, use it also to decorate lollipops so you just keep giving it a, a good go around here and this one is a lot simpler than our spiders. So now what I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to just slide this away here. Now, I've seen people do this different ways, but this is the way I like to do it. So I'm just going to do it my way. And I'm going to wrap it around because this is going to be your little ghost's head. And you can put like a ball or something inside if you want yours to be more round. See guys, simple, easy, fast, which is what I'm all about. So now we're going to go and get a Sharpie or some kind of marker. You could use googly eyes too. I just don't have any more of my smaller googly eyes. 
so I'm just going to go ahead and use a Sharpie. So I like this side a little bit better. So I'm just going to take the Sharpie and make some eyes. and give a little nose and there you go that's our little ghost so I'm gonna make <clears throat> a few more of these <clears throat> sorry guys I'm getting sick again so I'm gonna make a few more of these and then I'm gonna show you how to attach the ghosts and the spiders to a string for the garland and so we are done with our little ghosts and spiders here and I have this string now one thing you can do that I didn't do here is make a loop so when you get ready to put it on the string or thread or whatever you're attaching it to that you can just loop the thread through but because I didn't do that I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue it Okay, so now we have our cutesy little garland and all we have to do is find a place to hang it. So let's do that right now. So here we have it. I just kind of put it up here um, just because the bedrooms are up here and the kids are going to love seeing the garland hung up there. So really cute, fun easy project you can do by yourself or with the little ones so thank you for watching i hope you like it if you do make one of these for yourself let me see how you make it let me see how you make it your own um tag me in your photos on instagram or comment down below uh what you did differently than what i did so i really appreciate you guys Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a like on this video. Again, make sure you are subscribed if you are not already. And please turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. Bye.